Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to a special edition on Geektopia Island here. Uh, I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, uh, actually, we I guess we're, we're starting to make it big, right? And we thank you all for this. But we're actually here to spoil some cards for the new Argent Saga set, uh, Echoes of Hoken. And we got two commons and an Argent uh, Rare for you. And this is, should be really fun. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's do it. All right. The first common we have is Snowtop Hoboggan. He's a 3-drop 2,000 unit beast, and when he arrives, uh, if you control a penguin unit, you may stun target unit, and a stun card cannot attack, block, or use active abilities until the end of your until the end of the next turn. So, I mean, we know how like three drop dudes come to play and stop a, a unit from doing things. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, this card's nuts because it's it's like that silly spider, just the spider makes it to where you get to not untap, but this one's just about the same. Yep. Because you're like, hey, that dude can't do anything for a turn. And it that in this game is crushing. It really is. And also, good doggo is good. The, <laughs> yeah. the black one who makes you basically can't attack or block for two turns, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, and this being able to shut off him activated abilities is pretty strong. Like, I, I think this dude's going to be really good when you're using penguins. Yeah. And since one of your the spirits can be a penguin that does the same thing... And to be able to constantly stop your units, your opponents from doing anything, yeah, it seems pretty powerful. Yeah, and you put this with any kind of like black deck and just recur them all the time. Yeah, it's solid, super solid. And the next common that we have is Prophet of Valor. It's a one drop uh, white card, five hundred unit elf prophet. But when it arrives, search your deck for a basic unit and send it to the discard zone. Now, a basic unit, of course, is just a unit with nothing printed on it. So we don't know how good this is going to be until the whole set is revealed. Yeah, it, it could be really good with all the other dudes that are coming out that don't have abilities, but I I wish this dude got anything because, I don't know, anything that goes in and tomb, like puts a creature in the graveyard is pretty good in my opinion. Yes. Because you can do a whole lot of graveyard shenanigans. Like, especially if you use like Ergon, the black uh, champion that auto gets dudes back from the yard, you can just set up for what you want. Exactly. So you put it in the graveyard, and then with their gun, you put it on top, and then hey, there you go. But we'll see what kind of bonuses are for just normal Argent dudes for sure. Yeah. And of course, since I know Kevin loves dinosaurs, I'll pass it on to you. All right. So the Argent rare that we're spoiling is the Brontarian Herd Mother, and it is a six drop 3,500. So already huge. Yeah. Um, this card costs two less to play while you control eight or more shards. And this card cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. And whenever a dinosaur unit you control is put into the discard zone, you may deal damage equal to that card's power to target unit and opponent controls. Yes. So, like, this dude's insane. The little herd mother is kind of nuts. Agreed. The fact that, well, one, I was questionable about the costing less when you get eight, but that means it just respects your time, I guess. Like once you get the, you'd be like, okay, I can play this for little and still protect it or another dinosaur at the same time. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, yeah. but this protects itself. Like yeah. you can't target it with spells or abilities. I that's... mean, so it's you or them. They can't, you can't and they can't, but it's whatever. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah, this card just makes the game end for you. Like if you have dinosaurs and you're playing, you just, you should play this dude because it just auto makes your dinosaurs do extra when they die. And it just makes the game end quicker because when you draw this, you're just like, hey, my dude, she costs less and yeah. I get to destroy you now with all my dinosaurs. Exactly. And don't use spells to try to kill her because thank you for, for that. That's one of the strongest things in Origin Talk and not be able to target your opponent's things. And yeah. like you said, it ends the game quickly because you're trading tit for tat, right? Your dinosaur dies. Well, your dude will die as well. So thank you for that. Yeah. And with some of the dinosaurs that have already been shown, it's kind of crazy. Like a Terror Tops is a guardian that's a four drop 2500 and yeah. it has to like be attacked so you just force them attacking there and when it dies it shoots another dude for 2500 so like yeah. you just win more with the herd mother in play like she just gets to kill all the things agreed and if you have multiple out then i'm sure you know double damage for the little yeah. dinosaurs just it just helps you win yeah it's it's kind of insane how yeah. good that, that card's going to be for dinosaurs so I can't wait to, for us to actually build decks around them and also do deck brawls to show you what they could do in action. Oh, yeah. And with that, uh, we'd like to thank Arjun Saga for letting us uh, spoil some commons and Arjun uh, Rare for you guys. 
and thank you guys for you know getting us to where we can actually start doing this so with that hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at geektopia island and you have a good day bye later